In this video, we're going to show you how to look up the history of a fire resource. And we're actually going to use the resource that we just deleted to see the different updates that we made to it and the history of the different versions. So not all fire servers have the, this ability. It just kind of depends. But the fire server we're using right now does. So we're going to take advantage of that. So the first thing we're going to do is use our Git operation to perform a lookup of the fire server. Uh, rather, here's the fire server. We want to look up this specific fire resource. I'm hit send. And you're going to notice very quickly that there is a status of 410, which means that resource doesn't exist. There's a error, an uh, operation outcome. And you can see down here that it tells us that this resource actually has been deleted. Well, we can actually look up the history of the resource using an operation. Uh, called history. And how we do that is we have our base URL, the resource, and the resource ID right after it. Uh, as expected, we use a forward dash underscore, and we type in history and click send. And what that's going to do is actually send us a result of a resource uh, bundle that you can see up here. And a bundle is basically a collection of resources, in this case, three total resources that sent uh, that is sent back. And if we scroll down there, we can see the contents of it. The very first one uh, shows us that there is a resource of delete that was deleted. This is uh, represented of version three, which was the deleted version. If we keep scrolling down, we see version two, where we had previously changed our name. And if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we can see that here is our original resource, version one, with our original name. Uh, that's a very quick way to see all the history related to that single resource. But you can also look at a very specific version as well. So if we go back to the URL up here, we can go ahead and type in the specific version we're interested in. In this case, we're interested in version two. Let's hit send. And that shows us, uh, as you recall, the version where we changed our name. So that shows it here. This is version two. And if we want to do it for number one, we can do that as well. That brings back in the original version. And that's a very quick way, a very handy tool to look up the history, uh, thinking back to our folder analogy of flipping through the different pages within the folder to see all the different changes that has occurred to a resource.